Hello, people. Um, another uh, video of a uh, pretty nice knife. Um, this knife it's made by uh, a knife maker whose name is uh, Jim Allen. He's in Oregon and uh, he is a um, solo uh, knife maker so he makes everything on his own uh, very little uh, outsourcing so as you can see the knife is actually uh, a little bit uh, rough in terms of a uh, finishing because it's made by uh, by hands and uh, all the polishing is done by hand and uh, this knife is called the beast and it's uh, three inches long uh, EDC it's not very heavy it's about what four, four ounces maybe maybe a little bit more a tad more uh, it has a very very thick uh, blade and uh, since it's handmade even the blade and the grind so you, you see a little bit of my uh, uh, imperfection I'll say but it's not actually not it's not imperfection it's just you can see this is cut by hand grind by hand um, that's a uh, three sisters forge logo uh, Mr. Allen's logo and uh, it has a really nice uh, high polish uh, edge <sighs> what else um this the scale is frame uh it's titanium and a water jet the design is really good it's grippy but yet uh looks looks really nice the other side is also uh, titanium i don't think the clip is titanium though but uh, it's really light any anyway and uh, it's a uh, frame lock with flow through design okay the concept it's really good actually I like it I like the design really much but uh, I think there are some details that uh, need to be done here before this knife will become will, will become a great knife uh, first of all the material used is really good titanium and uh, the blade is actually uh, a uh, S CPM S35 uh, VN I'm not sure about that steel but uh, um, it is uh, really it should be a uh, really top quality steel because if I'm not mistaken uh, Chris Reef uh, future knives will be using this type of steel so uh, Chris Reef you know if he's using it it must be good um, the rockwell hardness of this one it's a 59 which I think it's the it's a perfect it's the best actually ha uh, hardness because uh, your knife will stay sharp long enough and uh, it will not uh, chip or uh, break and uh, or shatter um, okay back to the detail of the knife uh, the knife has a really high tolerance as you can see here uh, the blade's not moving but you see the, the blade and the scale has really really small space and uh, it's absolutely it's there uh, one my complaint will be um, see the clip it's not really um, sturdy it goes in, in and out of pocket easily which is good but uh, uh, when you are jogging around or do doing some uh, more extreme uh, exercises I'm sure it will come out that's one thing uh, too if uh, you're making a low clip low right clip the clip I think should be a little bit higher so I mean at least uh, people will see less of this part 
but uh, it's mounted way I think it's a little bit too low then uh, another thing I see the un uneven uh, part this one is this side shorter and this side is longer I don't I don't think this uh, this piece is necessary okay and okay, I can bend it of course um, to fix this problem that's not touching it's uh, it's like bumping 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 um, the screws they are uh, used let me see let me see if I can give you the details okay no All right um, if you look closely you will see uh, this screw is actually smaller than this or this screw uh, because you can see how it's not filling up filling out the the hole see there are spaces in between the holes here no well not a lot of spaces and not a lot of spaces but there's uh, there are spaces around the, the, the screw and uh, also here there are also spaces around the pivot and of course in the back which I think it should be filled to look better of course there's no problem in functionality just to look better uh, one thing is also uh, the grind if you can see it, it seems that um, I have scratched it but no I haven't I haven't used the knife yet but uh, the grind as you can see it seems that um, it's not polished uh, really well oh, this is a brand new knife by the way I got it directly from uh, Michelle himself uh, which he's uh, he's a very nice uh, communicator uh, great to deal with um, some of the details will be uh, I th how do you say um, the blade see uh, that that's not dirt um, because it's it's just not there. It's something that uh, that stayed on the blade, and I don't know why. It's just there. Of course, it doesn't uh, affect the functionality of the knife. And the thing is that uh, when you lock the knife, um, the lock isn't really confident. I mean, it's easy to de deploy. Shoot. And uh, oh, the knife is uh, it's easy to deploy, but it's way too easy to deploy. See, and that's dangerous. Maybe it will eat in after a few uh, more opening and closing. And uh, the knife was sh is sharp, but I don't think it's uh, like shaving sharp but it's sharp and uh, that's that's about my complaints the res is really nice I mean uh, at least this is like a knife made uh, by one person and it's not some uh, production knife so and I like the design it's very utilitarian feels really good in the hand um, if uh, Mishaya Allen can a uh, fix some of the minor uh, detailing this will be a really really great knife all right uh, that's about it thank you guys for uh, watching the video and see you later